everyone, I'm back for another cooking video. So as promised, today we're going to make a chai tea latte. Um, so first, I'm going to go over everything you will need. You're going to need some filtered water, a mug, a pot, a spoon, some um, pure vanilla extract, agave nectar or dates, almond milk, and if you haven't seen my almond milk video, you can watch it here, and chai tea. So the way I'm going to get started, first I'm going to start with putting my boiling water on. So I usually put about um, a little over half a cup in the pot, and we're going to let that boil. Okay. Next, we're going to sweeten the almond milk, and I'm just going to show you guys how to make one serving, so if you're making it for two people, then of course you would just double this recipe. So I'm going to take about, um, about eight ounces of my almond milk, and I'm going to pour it in a blender. Oh, perfect. Once I do that, I'm going to add my agave nectar. And when you're making this chai tea latte, you want to put a little extra sweetener because the chai tea is so strong um, and has all the spices in it that um, are kind of really overpowering. So you want to add a little extra sweetener with this. So almost make it a little bit too sweet. So I'm going to add, um, you can add as much as you like, but I usually do about two and a half tablespoons. So you just kind of want to add it to the almond milk. And then blend it. You don't have to blend it that long. Blend it about a minute. Once it's done blending, you can go ahead and sample it to see if it's sweet. Mm, okay, that's like perfect. Then you're going to add a little bit of vanilla. It's probably like a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Once you add that, you're going to blend it again. I just blend it for about 15-20 seconds, not that long, just until the vanilla is mixed in. And go ahead and try it and see how it tastes. And if you like a little bit more vanilla flavor, you can go ahead and add a little bit more. So that is done. And now I hear the water boiling. So we're going to take one bag of chai tea and put that in your mug. And you're going to add about um, two ounces of boiling water. So make sure your tea bag is sitting at the bottom of the mug so it can be completely covered. You don't want to add too much water because your tea will be watery. So we're going to let that seep for about five minutes and then we're going to warm up our almond milk. Once your tea is done steeping for five minutes, you're going to go ahead and just add your almond milk. Actually, you can add your almond milk once it's about two minutes in. You're going to add your almond milk into a pot and you're going to warm it up on the stove. Now, almond milk has a tendency to separate, so you don't want to warm it up on high. You want to warm it up on low um, to about medium low and watch it and constantly stir it. And you don't want it boiling, you just want to see like the steam coming up from the milk. And you just want to stir it kind of slow and give it time to warm up. And this usually takes about three minutes. And by the time this is done, then your tea will be ready to go. Okay, so now that your almond milk is warm and ready, you're going to take it and you're going to add it to the tea. So discard the tea bag once it's done steeping. And add your almond milk. It's 
want to give it a stir. Taste it, of course. And see if you need to add any more agave nectar, um, maybe add a little bit more milk if it's too strong for you. Sometimes I'll add like a little cinnamon or a little nutmeg and give it like a little extra kick. But there you have it, chai tea. Another thing that's good about this is that it's a fraction of the price of going to like a coffee house and getting it. Um, you know, this right here, estimating per cup is probably mm, about 95 cents versus getting it from a coffee place for like $4.50. So you definitely save money, it's delicious, and it's healthy. So until next time, bye.